Association of Imperial Airways. Its aim, to open the British Empire to the air. Croydon and the old Argosy, the airliner par excellence of the late 1920s. The last to have an office open to the winds of heaven. Then the 30s brought a revolution in the HP-42. With her four engines, with her solid, stately shape, the nature of flight itself seemed to be transformed. The true being the briefcase, the fur coat and the hotel label are entering the airman's world. Perhaps already something of the tang of adventure is passing. The air is becoming part and parcel of society, business, diplomacy. Departure has become a ceremonial. And the airman himself is changing too. In the covered cockpit, the leather coat has become the captain's uniform. Gold braid is at the controls. Experience, reassuring. The long ship has become the galleon. And the aids and disciplines are with us now. The control tower and radio navigation. A merchant fleet is aloft. And it has to know with reasonable accuracy where the devil it is. Hannibal, Hanno and their kind drove back the horizons. Always a little further. First Arabia, then on to India. And great aircraft they were. Through all their years of service they never lost a passenger. They were still flying in the Second World War. Their cruising speed in still air was less than a hundred miles an hour. Yet they put Sharjah across the road from Cheltenham. Thank you.